He is the pride of Paramus Catholic High School in New Jersey by way of Ann Arbor and crushing it in Green Bay, Wisconsin. And joining us prior to his big Monday night football game is Rashawn Gary of the Green Bay Packers. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. How you doing, Rich? I'm, I know. I saw, I saw Thanksgiving especially. What was that like? What was that like being back in Detroit, being back in Michigan, and just crushing it for your team on that day, Rashawn? Yeah, um, all in all, to sum it up, um, you know, it was tough emotionally. Um, I was happy and blessed uh, through my higher power um, and throughout my support group to, you know, be able to stay locked in, not let my thoughts, uh, you know, get over and take advantage of me. And um, just as soon as the kickoff started playing and play out, um, you know, started to build into a special game and, I'm just happy that I was able to lead that field, which I got hurt last year, and um, also have a very important win for this team. Yeah, exactly, and that's the emotional part of it um, where you got hurt on that field. And uh, just to take us through all that, is that the sort of stuff you envision while you are rehabbing to keep you going? Do you envision having a moment like that on a field like that, Rashawn? Yes, absolutely. Uh, going through the rehab process, um, you know, my thoughts is getting back with my team and, Certain games I for sure has uh, circled, and that was one of them. And I was happy uh, I was able to, you know, have everything time up, everything uh, how it timed up to have the game I have. And you certainly are now uh, a major uh, cog here in this Packers wheel that seems to be greased and performing very well right now. W what has happened over the last three weeks, would you say, Rashawn, for the Packers to click on all cylinders like they have right now? Just at all three phases from offense, defense, and special teams, and everybody challenges each other to, you know, keep our standard. Everybody understands what Green Bay Packers way is, and that's winning and winning at a high level and you know, competing for Super Bowls. And um, just having faith, you know, Monday to Sunday, putting in the work, and it's just been uh, turning out for us on Sundays. What do you mean by challenging? Who's doing the challenging? You? You doing that? <laughs> Uh, all three phases. Um, you know, there's a couple guys, you know, you could say Jordan Love, you could say me, Kenny Clark, uh, Preston Smith, but just the Green Bay Packers organization, the players that they have around us, um, everybody's pushing the, uh, the nudge to, you know, just be perfect and uh, hold our standards. Well, but because again, you've been around for some serious um, playoff runs there. Does it feel like you're on one right now? Does it feel like it? Um, I just love the energy in the building. I feel like we just got to keep taking it week in and week out how we are. So do I take that as a yes? <laughs> Uh, I love the energy. I love the. I love the. Uh, I love how we got the. Uh, you know, the feeling in the group. I mean, in the building, and I love how everybody coming to work. All right, so do, let me try this way. Does it match the energy that you felt on previous playoff push seasons, Rashawn? Um. Yes, I love the confidence. Um, everybody's confident from all three phases of the ball, and everybody's making sure that um everybody's playing at a high level and holding the standard. So. I say yes. Okay, so Jordan Love, how is it? It does appear that he's um, more relaxed. He does appear more in tune with the style of play we're used to seeing from the quarterback position. What does it look like from your perspective, Rashawn? Um, just week in and week out, him getting better, him getting more comfortable, and he's always had charge. He's always been a leader, but just him getting more comfortable, you know. Um, his first year starting, him seeing certain looks, and now he began to what the end, of, what mid season, end of the season pushing. Now he's seeing everything, and now he's in the flow. So just drawing love, growing, being him, and just being the leader that he is. What's what's been your front row seat in seeing that? Where you know you knew he had it, and now you're seeing it. What about that, Rashawn? Yeah, uh, just I could I could keep going on. Uh, Please, <laughs> day about Jordan. Um, from his rookie year, from me watching him, because I understand how it is, you know, being drafted highly, having high expectations. And, um, you know, him coming in under Aaron, a uh, future Hall of Famer, and learning and just seeing his hunger and not um, not a guy coming in big-headed, think he knows everything. And now to, you know, a guy now has the ranks, understands what it is to lead a team, you know, because he's he, he seen it before. And now, you know, he has the he has the control. I love the confidence. You know, he's able to talk to offense, defense, and special teams, all three phases. And, yes, he is the type of player that's going to challenge um, all three phases, and he does. And I just love the, uh, the flow and the groove that he is, and he just got to keep doing what he's doing week in and week out. He challenges the defense, what, but with in practice? Or what What do you mean? Give me an example of that, please. Uh, perfect, perfect example. Um, They go down and score on Kansas City, and uh, he's uh, he was like, come on, we're feeling it. Get us back the ball. So when you have your quarterback, you know, telling the defense, you know, give me back the ball, I'm feeling hot. Man, that's the confidence that the defense they need, and we just got to keep giving them back the ball. 
Rashawn Gary, Packers linebacker here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. Okay, so are there times where, again, I, I just watching Jordan throw, watching the way the ball leaves his hands, uh, and again, I know this is unfair because one's a Hall of Famer and we all know who Rodgers is, but there are times where I'm like, wow, he looks like him. Have you just maybe caught out of the corner of your eye through your helmet or any point in time, like, thought for a second, wow, that, that does look like Aaron for Sean. Does that happen? Um, to be from, so I got to talk about Jordan, just how he breaks down the game his week in and week out, just how he prepares um, is similar, you know, and just how he takes the practice field from how he sees the defense to, you know, certain uh, ways uh, Aaron used to hand off the ball, you know, he's taking little tricks of the trade off of that. So I'm seeing that. So you can say it kind of resembles it, but Jordan is his own player and Aaron, you know, like I said, is right. Future Hall of Famer. Sure. You know, and I, I'm, I'm fully aware that he's his own man, his own person, but again, you're so, so the, the method with which he hands off the ball, sort of like the, the, I guess the mechanics of it, right. Um, that's what you're saying. He's, you, you, he's picked up on, and, Please do tell me about running practice and 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 his preparation from your perspective. Tell me about that. Yeah, um, Please. pre-practice, um, um, he gets office alignment together. Um, they go over the plays, whatever the case may be, the, mm -hmm. the cadence of the week, and um, he's making sure everybody's going through it. He's making sure he's going through his cadence. If you see anybody messing up, he's correcting them, but he also is coming to him, you know, not yelling at them, telling them, all right, we got to get this right. All right, let's run it again. You know, so it's it's how you talk to people. It's just delivery. And you see that throughout practice, man. And um, you see, uh, you know, sometimes he might not have a good ball. All right, Coach, let me get that play back. And that's where we at. You know, we're trying to get perfect. We're trying to uh, work on being perfect. So we get that play back. And then you see he's like, wow. It's a couple times, like, like we were just talking about, like, you see the ball come off his hand. Yeah, it's for sure giving some flashbacks. And it's just like, wow. And I just love how he's just keep on progression week in and week out. Rashawn Gary here on the Rich Eisen Show. Okay, let's talk about you a little bit before I let you go on with your day. Uh, how many in the Gary party for Monday night in New Jersey? What do we got? Uh, how many? I'm packing about probably 11, 12. Oh, <laughs> boy. So how do you, what do you do there? Do you go up to some of the other guys and say, are you using your tickets? Like, how, how do we, how do we go about this, Rashawn? What do we got here? What do we do? Oh, uh, yeah. In, in the locker room, um, but it really starts. It really starts uh, two weeks. Um, I, I've already been asking for tickets, so I already got a couple guys' names written down. So that's a little bit easier for me. But I think I end up having to buy myself a total of four, so my teammates end up helping me out a great amount. Okay. All right. And so who's coming? Who's coming? Um, what do you got? Cousins, um, high school friends, um, aunts, and that's it to sum it all up. Yeah. Okay, and 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 so did how how many times have you played in Jersey? How many times back have you? How many times you've been back now? This will be playing for Green Bay. I want to say my second time playing uh, back at MetLife. Okay, very good. And um, what's it gonna uh, be? I mean, were you growing up there? Obviously, it was Giant Stadium when you were growing up. Did you did you look at that sometimes and go, "I'm going to play there one day"? Did those go through your mind? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, with my family, you know, the Jersey thing, it was a lot of Jets fans in my house. But, you know, seeing the uh, MetLife Stadium, um, you know, and watching uh, so, uh, watching football on Sundays for sure gave me the motivation to, you know, aspire to play there one day. Okay. And now lastly, let's talk about America's team. And you know I'm not talking about the Dallas Cowboys, right, Rashawn? America's team. I hope not. Oh, we're talking about the Michigan Wolverines. It's great to be a Michigan Wolverine, Rashawn. What are you thinking about what you're seeing um, – from this team right now and how and how they're playing what do you got for me there i love it um and like i was saying uh you know the couple teammates in my locker room you know a couple guys around the way um you know we, we're getting a couple wins up there you know three in a row you know and when you get to when you get to that point you know and it starts to become um the norm to start winning and winning at a high level that uh at that type of um level is great seeing that especially um you know how it is being a Michigan man. And you wear the helmet for people and the players that wore it before you that paid the way for you. So I understand how it is to go out that game. And now it's good seeing them being on top of that and winning Big Ten championships and finally doing what, you know, I worked for and everybody else that worked for before me going to the national championships, things like that and pushing for it. So I'm just happy for them to do what they're doing and they make a Michigan man and women around the world proud. Yeah, I, I, you know, I, we're the villains now. A lot of people think we don't deserve what we got, the, you know, cheated this, cheated that. We're the villains. It's crazy. It's crazy when you win. 
Ha! I like it. Have you said anything to the couple of Buckeyes in your locker room? Have you been doing some talking, Rashawn? Uh, no, nah, just a couple okay. smiles. A couple smiles, little head nods. They okay. understand what you mean. Okay. Very good. I like it. Rashawn, thanks for the time. Really greatly appreciate it. You know I'm a fan. Um, keep, uh, keep balling out. Absolutely. I appreciate you, Rich. You bet. Right back at you. That's Rashawn Gary getting set to go back to his home of New Jersey with the Packers taking on the Giants on Monday Night Football. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free. 